Bonjour, bonjour, this is The Raider and welcome to this new video. This is about the uh, demo, um, which I would still call a beta, even though the developers don't want to call it like this, of Anthem, which is a very hyped and also hated game before it's going out because it's by Bioware and Electronic Arts, and we know that Bioware through Mass Effect Andromeda and uh, Electronic Arts through, well, everything they've ever done, they might be some doubts about this game and how it's gonna go about the monetization and everything so this is a video a presentation of the vip demo i was lucky enough by scouring the uh, the forums to get a code so i have access to it even though i didn't pre-order the game uh, by the time you see this video it will be the last day of the vip demo the full open demo will be next week on the weekend uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There might be one more day uh, because there were a lot of problems on the first day, but I don't know yet. So the point of this video is just in like 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes to show you, maybe a little bit more actually, um, what's in this demo. Um, but like I will, st after that basically I'm, I'm recording before I'm streaming uh, free play and everything. But welcome freelancer, discover what you can experience during the Anthem demo weekends and how VIP players can bring up to blah 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 blah. So, you start with the... I'm gonna exit that. You start here, basically, that's where you start. You are in Fort Tarsis. There are a few options that are available to you, but not that many. So you can talk to a few people. Uh, here you have Lucky Jack that you can talk to. I'm gonna go talk to him right now while I'm talking to you. There are a few missions and a few other people, Amal and Aona, that you can talk to. Um, what you have available once you go there, if I'm not mistaken, no, here, you can go into your javelin. So the first javelin you have is a ranger, uh, which is a jack of all trades that can do roughly everything. It's mostly weapon based. Um, that was cool. I just unlocked my Colossus. Uh, I didn't know which one. So during the demo, you can un although the four javelins, which is the ranger, the Colossus, the interceptor, and the storm, are available. You can only unlock one at level twelve. You start at ten. You can go up to level fifteen, and at twelve, you have a choice to unlocking one more javelin. Uh, I chose the Colossus because the people I'm playing with, I might play later with them, um, had other plans. Uh, they wanted to play mostly Storm, uh, and so I decided that the Colossus was a good idea in order to be able to draw fire. I'm going to show you the, uh, the Javelin as soon as I can. Um, first, uh, return to Matthias Lab. I'm going to, I'll do the mission later. I'll uh, just uh, go, uh, I'll just go over there. Uh, this is Lucky Jack. Does he have any? So as you can see in Fort Tarsis, the game is actually quite good looking. It's really, really beautiful. Okay, so in Fort Tarsis, it's actually looking quite good. There's a bit of movement blur. I hope they're gonna because like it makes you, it makes you a little bit sick. But it's actually quite good looking. Unfortunately, in the field right now, I play on the PS4 normal, not a pro, and it doesn't look good in my opinion. That's the uh, I've been playing a few hours, and that's the main problem. Is like graphics are not good on the PS4 normal. I cannot speak for the rest. I've been talking to, with people who play on the PS4 Pro and they say, no, it's absolutely fine and everything. But you'll see that the difference between this that is really good looking and everything is quite, quite a lot. Um, but it's a six month old build or something. Uh, so hopefully uh, when the game goes uh, comes out, it's not gonna be uh, the same. What do you have available on this game? So this is my Colossus I already like, uh, you can, what's amazing, you can customize so many things for the Javelin. I did uh, something a bit random. Uh, so you go there, you start expedition. When you want to start something, anything you want. This is where you arrive and you can basically select something. So this is the Tyrant My is an expedition that um, you need to do in a team uh, or solo, even on easy, it's not possible. You have the free play, which allows you to roam around, and then you have other missions. Unfortunately, I haven't talked to the people yet, so the missions are not available. Uh, you have three difficulties that are available uh, for now, and it's because we're not going to arrive at level 30, which is the end game. Easy, normal, or hard? I play in normal. It's not easy already, like at the beginning, because you are under... Um, under, under the, the, the items, sorry, I'm bugging a little bit. The items you have are not great, so you don't do a lot of damage, you take a lot of damage. It's not that easy, which I appreciated actually, I thought it was fine. Uh, you have, you can invite player, the menus are a bit clunky, but you know, they're fine. Um, and you can go to the forge. The forge is actually where I spend most of my time 
because I'm a stickler for details. You arrive at this. You have two things. The loadout, so basically you get uh, one weapon and a secondary weapon that you can choose. Like I did, I don't have that many. And uh, you only have 14 power, like you start with uh, weapons at 10 power. So I'm just starting, but you have a very different, um, a lot of different styles. So I'm going to go through them very quickly, like machine, shotgun, marksman, uh, auto cannon, which I'm going to try now, sniper rifle, which is not exactly a sniper rifle, you'll see. Uh, the um, marksman is a little bit more uh, like a sniper, maybe. We'll see. Assault rifle, which is a very common weapon, and grenade range launcher. I, uh, on my Colossus, because you need to do a lot of damage, I have an auto cannon that is a, a little bit less RPM, so round per minute, because you can go all, all the way to a thousand, but more powerful, and also it's we're gonna try. I haven't tried the Colossus at all, so we're just gonna go do a little bit of free play. And a grenade launcher. You then have a lot of things you can change, like. Uh, components that help you this now you have only armor here you can have another thing that I don't have for now because I haven't played which is an, a, 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 another option and then in appearance you can change everything I'm not spend too much time but believe me you can do whatever you want with it and there's a lot of options taking like from uh, legs arms chest and uh, that's I haven't found at all I don't have any the vinyls are, I bought one, this one, because I wanted something, and uh, they're all 25 coins in the demo. The economy is going to change a lot in the phone. The wear set is just like new, blah, blah, blah. If you want a little bit, it's fine. And the paint is where you can go change everything. So I don't want to spend too much time on it, uh, but I wanted to show the other javelins. So I have my Ranger. Uh, my default loadout is because I didn't change the loadout. I... Uh, it's on 82 power, so you can see at the top, yeah, like this, at the top, uh, that's the power, 82. Uncommon Ranger is because most of my um, items are green, so you have white, common, uh, green, uncommon, rare is blue, then you have, I don't remember what they call it, maybe epic for purple, and then you have legendary for um orange it's a very classic thing okay uh it's a loot based game which i really like to be perfectly honest um but for now i just want to test my colossus we are not going to do a mission we are going to do a bit of free play right now i'm going to play on solo i haven't done free play either like uh well, i just want to do like a few minutes just to show you and while i show you in play I'm going to tell you my impressions of the game just yet. Uh, remember, they've only played, been playing a few hours. Uh, they might modify a lot of things between this weekend and next weekend. Even during this weekend, though, I think they're not going to move to do anything else uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to do this free play. Tac. So you select it, you go back, which is a bit meh. Difficulty normal and you start expedition and let's try. Uh, there was a lot of connection problems, but it seems they have been resolved, most of them. Okay, so I changed my mind multiple times about how I wanted to do this video. Um, all the recordings I had were almost two hours. I didn't want to put a two hours video or two videos. I don't think it's worth it, it's just a beta. So I decided to show you the last part of the raid. It's not a raid, it's called the Fortress. Um, it's called the Tyrant Mine, as you can see at the top. Locate the exhaust. So this is the two last parts of, uh, the, kind of like four parts of the, of, of the I'm gonna call it the raid. And those are the last two parts. So I have my Tempest. Uh, by the time I'm at this place, I'm uh, a little bit better with it. I'm still very, very bad, so so I apologize. I'm still very new to the movement. I'm still figuring out the um, uh, buttons and everything. But I'm going to start by saying that I had a lot of fun doing this. So um, we died at some point, and we don't have to previous. I don't want to show you that. Uh, even on easy, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Because, well, we're not good. And uh, you need to get better. You need to get good at this game. Uh, here I left the underwater thing because it's quite cool. Uh, the last time I did it, I got completely lost. I almost died just in the water. This time it was a bit better, but I still hate those water parts. It's beautiful, but it's just I hate it uh, for the sake of it. Um, I loved it. Honestly, I had a lot of fun. And 
it finally works. So the problem is I wanted to recall that two days ago, we now on Saturday evening, it's almost eight, like the 2nd of February, February, February. But the issue it was that uh, every time you were in the middle of a fort, so the Tyrant Mine, the Fortress, it was randomly disconnecting and you were losing everything. Losing everything and you couldn't start again or anything. So I waited a little bit um, and this time I managed to do it uh, completely and uh, on Sunday, probably not this evening, but on Sunday I'm going to do it more because I had a lot of fun. So this second part, you arrive and you have to gather the, the, the silence, the relic. There's a relic in the middle that you need to silence. It took me a while to understand what you have to do. So you're going to see uh, that it took me a while. I'm too far high up and I need to go back down. You need to go into the tunnel to get a relic. Once you have the relic in your hand, actually in your back pocket, you cannot fly. So you need to run, bring it and push on the button. I thought it was like on the first part, you had relics yet. You, balls of light that you need to bring to some place and they were just getting dropped automat automatically not this time so that complicated a lot of things so it took me a while it doesn't matter you at the same time I have time to tell you um, my evolved impression because most of the things I said well well not negative but like graphically graphically it doesn't bother me it just makes me want to buy a PS4 Pro which I can't because I don't have the means to do it but I really want to um, but apart from that like Flying with the storm, for example, or even the first, uh, the first javelin, the, the, the ranger, uh, the Colossus and the Interceptor. I barely played with them. Um, this is a relic, um, but I really do want to try them. Try this with them too. Is very good. It's very fun. I, I really liked it. I uh, did this on purpose. Like I, I, I started it alone. But you being matchmaked, match made, <laughs> you have matchmaking for all the activities. And I was with three guys, which were two beginners and one was not, but still was not very good because otherwise he would have carried us uh, much easier. Um, and it was just fun. It was just fun. I, 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 I think it's even more fun when you do it higher level with higher gear once you know the game better, once you know how to move your javelin, once you use your javelin better, and then you can talk. Uh, to combine the, 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 the things because right now it's like everyone was doing their things in on their side we're not communicating about which relics to get or where to go and what to do but still I had fun and I think it's even more fun if you had more people with you um, I'm not looking at you but it's because I'm looking at the footage at the same time uh, so well yeah uh, I'm gonna try and describe what to do so the point of this character is usually to go in the air but the problem is with the relic in my hand I can't I have an assault rifle and a marksman rifle I don't remember if it's a sniper oh I failed completely the point is to do combos with your elements um, this is a very basic uh, build where you put one ball on ball and then you uh, do it for the combo uh, I just change it and I'm, I can't wait to try the new build so yeah I thought boom I went up and I didn't see the prompt and I thought, oh, okay, it's cool, it's done. And I was like, but I still can't fly. What's happening? So I realized that I did not put the relic in the whatever. And then here, I tried all the buttons, including my ultimate, which was a mistake. And you can't, even if you cancel it, uh, it uses all the bars. So if you make a mistake by putting it at the wrong moment, you cannot stop it to recover a bit of the bar. It doesn't work like that. So, I was like, okay, fine, no problem, I'm gonna try again, and this time I'll wait, and this time I realize that you have to place it. Then there's another way of, of scars. Um, again, um, it takes me a while sometimes to figure out what I want to do, but the best for is Storm is uh, to stay in the air, because the, the shield you have is actually quite strong in the air. You also have a wall, but I struggle so much with this wall, like I put it behind the thing. I thought I could put it in front of me, but it doesn't seem to work. It seems it needs to be on the floor from what I gather. But I learned about it. Uh, now I realized that my health was really critical. So I'm going to do like every hero fighter does and hide for a while. Um, I really like this marksman, uh, rifle or sniper, this one. 
It's actually quite cool for the storm that needs to stay away. Now you, see, you saw the combo thing, it's when your elements work together, you have a primer that they put me, them in a certain state and then you trigger it. About the story and the voices, the voices are not annoying, but the, I, I haven't listened, I don't listen to the story right now. For now, uh, what they say, I was like, where do I go? Okay, there's a marker, I'll go there. So as you can see, there's a lot of enemies. Um, and so now we need to stay in this circle in order to, as you see, as you see at the top, no, at the top, oh, I don't remember. Um, but there's a signal and you need to stay, stay in and there's a lot of waves of creepers. I don't even know how they call them, like scorpions or something. Um, can you see the... They're, 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 they're creepy crawlers, basically. And there's a lot of them uh, that they are coming. Um... So, should you buy Anthem when he gets released? I would say no, not on the few, first few days anyway. Uh, because... Why? Because we need to wait on the state of the... everything. Wait for the reviews, wait for your favorite YouTubers to talk about it. Um, I am not buying it straight away, so don't wait for my reviews because I might do videos after, but at the beginning I won't because I have... Again, if I buy something, yeah, I need to be sure of it because right now uh, I'm what they call poor, so I can't buy video games, video games, video games, and just like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No, I want to make sure. And also, I have a lot of video games already that I have and I don't play, so if I buy a new game, it's not only because I'm sure that I'm going to play it, and right now I'm not. So, the state of the servers, because there are still a few issues like disconnections and stuff, uh, random and everything you don't really know. Even if it seems to be better now, and it is better, especially compared to the first week, uh, we don't know about it yet. So, we'll wait for it. But, I am hopeful, because I think this game can be very good. Like, very, very good. I had not that much fun since I discovered Destiny 1, which was only like five, six years ago. Uh, for a, a shooter looter, uh, they like Destiny 2 got me bored out of my mind. Um, Destiny 1 got me bored also because I couldn't catch up with some people and you couldn't do matchmaking here. If you want to play on your own and matchmake with other people, you can and that's fine. Um, after I recorded this part, I spent some time in the fort and checking the weapons and everything, and I was genuinely excited to try those weapons. Which it's a demo, and I was genuinely excited and. For those who don't know me, I don't get genuinely excited for well, anything these days. So it was a good feeling, um, and I want to give a chance to. Um, this is gonna hurt my mouth. I'm gonna give one a chance, give a chance to EA to show us that they can actually do a good game as a service or whatever you want to call it. Like the, 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 they are not gonna ruin what BioWare wants to do. Oh, we're gonna wait for the microtransaction because there was a this we saw a picture of a of the market with a maybe 20 pounds, euros, dollars for one skin. Uh, it's very unlikely that it's that because that, that would everyone would just not buy the game if they do that, so they can't do that. But we need to be... We need to wait for uh, how the market works to see if it's okay. Uh, I don't spend money in those things usually, but a lot of people like to spend money. Um, well, real money, because the, it seems you're going to be able to buy everything with um, in-game money, in-game currency. But it depends. If you need to grind 80 hours to have one skin, that's completely not worth it. So we'll see how it goes. So we, we have nothing much to say. Uh, we're just standing on the platform and waiting for uh, the air relic to be silenced. And it is done. Uh, all the creepy crawlers are going. And we are going to access the final start of the fortress. So you cannot change weapons or powers or whatever during uh, a... Oh yeah, yeah, this is those as well. So they are uh, individuals, so they cannot be stolen. The the, the life uh, and ammunition can be stolen on the floor, like, from each other, but not, there are a lot of them, so it doesn't matter. But the loot is individual. Cannot be passed to anyone else, cannot be exchanged. There is not going to be a marketplace to exchange this. It's going to be purely individual. But it works, it's available if it's not class-bound for all your characters. Okay, here we are at the last room. This is the last room of the um, fortress. Um, 
Stronghold. Oh yeah, that's the word. Stronghold. Doesn't matter. The there's another worry about the game is they announced that, that the oh that's the swarm tyrant that we're gonna have to take care of. Honestly, you'll see that in easy mode it was well actually very easy, uh, but it was quite impressive. Pretty beast. It's that. It's a spider or an equivalent of a spider. Uh, I'm gonna do my ultimate now. I think. I was waiting for the damage to start scaling and then okay okay so you start with thunder no ice thunder and then you can redirect it and I did a fair amount of damage um there's only three stone rolls planned for the release three so there are three grandmaster levels so you basically go up to level 30 and then you have three levels of and end game and the strong goals are well mostly what happens in end game and there are only three three which means that starting a certain level you're gonna have the exploration you know you can do the free exploration and it's fine and there must be some events and stuff okay fine okay so the missions will probably all be over so but you have some redoable missions and three strongholds and that's all for the end game and that's got everyone worried because in a few weeks after the release some people will have the end game and maybe you will realize that's all there is to it because you already do these strongholds at normal levels you don't have to wait for the end game to do them so you have to redo them and again and again and again to get the loot and there's only three I don't know, that's, that's a bit worrying, that's the, the biggest worry after the servers and the graphical optimization on normal PS4. So we'll see how it goes. So, um, right now it's mostly a bullet sponge, um, and the attacks, and you see that it exploded one, and it didn't do much, like it's on easy, and it's much harder on, like, on, on easy, especially when you have a lot of enemies shooting at you, then one big that you can actually divide by four, then you have to just... End shoot at it so there's a few phases because I was like but I'm not gonna have ammunition anymore and so it leaves except you can still hurt it where it, when it leaves it leaves and then you have a few waves of, 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 of skulls they are called skulls and then it comes back um, so yeah there's a few worries about the life and the end game because for some people end game will mean a week after the release they will be already starting the end game. Me? No, because the week after the release I might not even have the game. But that's that's one of the questions. I was an idiot, I didn't check my bar, I overrated, I fell into some eggs, I had to wait. Uh, that's again the lack of experience and the lack of thinking skills. Sometimes I'm really worried. Um, so we are waiting for the second phase, as you can see, because they are very easy to kill, we can stick them on the on the side and they couldn't come and get us which is why it's easy because once you're swarmed it's a bit different and then you see that it's the last part it's only had like an eighth of its life you just have to finish it um i want to try it in normal now uh but i might try it in uh, easy with uh, the two characters that don't play well i don't know what's going on anyway that was uh my opinion that was all the information i have um if you have any questions as usual the comments uh, put a like uh share it uh check my facebook page my twitter page whatever uh i'll be on twitch soon i promise i promise so i don't know uh, if it's gonna work or not i have hope for this game and that's the best way i can see it anyway thanks for watching this video and i will see you next time Allez, au revoir.